Sing and do song unto the Lord, sing alleluia. Before the Lord, play for him at the tambourines. Let your trumpet sound. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung from mountainside. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Singing hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear friends, in order to worthily celebrate this Mass, we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you, right and praiseworthy service grant we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. I myself am convinced about you, my brothers and sisters, that you yourselves are full of goodness, filled with all knowledge, and able to admonish one another. But I have written to you rather boldly in some respects to remind you, because of the grace given me by God, to be a minister of Christ Jesus to the Gentiles in performing the priestly service of the gospel of God, so that the offering up of the Gentiles may be acceptable, sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In Christ Jesus, then, I have reason to boast in what pertains to God, for I will not dare to speak of anything except what Christ has accomplished through me to lead the Gentiles to obedience by word and deed, by the power of signs and wonders, by the power of the Spirit of God, so that from Jerusalem all the way around to Illyricum, I have finished preaching the gospel of Christ. Thus I aspire to proclaim the gospel, not where Christ has already been named, so that I do not build on another's foundation, but as it is written, those who have never been told of him shall see, and those who have never heard of him shall understand. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand was won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song. Sing praise. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Hallelujah. 
Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Whoever keeps the word of Christ, the love of God is truly perfected in him. The Lord be with you. Everything from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, A rich man had a steward who was reported to him for squandering his property. He summoned him and said, What is this I hear about you? Prepare a full account of your stewardship, because you can no longer be my steward. The steward said to himself, What shall I do, now that my master is taking the possession of steward away from me? I am not strong enough to dig, and I am ashamed to beg. I know what I shall do, so that when I am removed from the stewardship, they may walk on me into their homes. He called in his master's debtors one by one. To the first he said, How much do you owe my master? He replied, One hundred measures of olive oil. He said to him, Here is your promissory note. Sit down and quickly write one for fifty. Then to another he said, And you, how much do you owe? He replied, One hundred measures of wheat. He said to him, Here is your promissory note. Write one for eighty. And the master commanded that the dishonest steward for acting prudently. For the children of this world are more prudent in dealing with their own generation than the children of light. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. If we have listened closely to the words of our Lord Jesus Christ today, especially about the parable related to us by our Lord about the dishonest manager, here we could find and question ourselves, does Jesus teach us how to become dishonest? Where the story, the dishonest manager, was even applauded by the rich man of the steward. Well, if we would see the context of the parable, Jesus is talking about how shall we obtain the kingdom of God. It is not true about this honesty of the manager, but on how he was able to see and find in his heart that he needs to act on something in order that he may be able to become worthy once again of what has been entrusted to him. And thus, therefore, for all of us, prudence means making and acting and finding the right direction or decision within our own very selves. Though in the parable, the solution made by the dishonest manager, of course, is not the right decision to make, but for us who wants to truly achieve the kingdom of God, our disposition should always be centered on how are we going to live the kingdom of God, which means we need to act on something. We need to already find within our own selves how are we going to make and find ways in order to achieve that. In our own lives, my dear friends, we are making a lot of many decisions, lots of priorities to choose, lots of things, and even which are the things that we must do, especially managing, for example, our time, managing our talent, managing our treasure, and managing everything. We are given also a moment to discern within our own selves how much have we put prudently our own very hearts 
to achieve the kingdom of God. Jesus is inviting us today to discern once again and reflect in all our own personal lives, in our response, in order to move on to the right path towards eternal life. The parable of the dishonest steward teaches that what we have to be prudent and clever not just in dealing with earthly concerns, but above all, with concerns of God's kingdom. May we forgo earthly prophets to be rich in matters of God. May church leaders be simple as doves, but wise as serpents using things at their disposal for the cause of the gospel, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May parish priests welcome the advice and help of laypersons who can contribute their expertise in the smooth running of the parish and its manifold pastoral ministries, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Like the steward in parable, May we have the wisdom to forego profits and benefits for the greater good that will result from it, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May we apply our talents, cleverness, and zeal with which we attend to our business and projects, also to managing what pertains to the gospel and salvation of humanity, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May we engage ourselves in the concerns of the church and get our hands and feet dirty in the process rather than remain in our comfort zone and become critical bystanders, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intention of Viola and Jean Crisologo, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the names and petitions written in our book of prayers, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Silently we present our petitions to the Lord. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord our God, you gave to the people of God the sevenfold gifts of the Holy Spirit to build up the church the body of Christ. May we be truly wise and rejoice in his consolation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. hungry hearts with tears of finest weeds O saving Lord the bread and light to eat Satisfy the hungry heart with prayers of finest we hunger to us, O saving Lord, the prayer. Hungry heart 
Wed is a fun as sweet. Come you to us, O saving Lord, to bread and blood to eat. Pray, my dear brethren, may sacrifice and yours be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the sacrificial offerings of the Lord become for you a pure oblation and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, to Christ our Lord, in Him we have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all share in His fullness. For though He was in the form of God, He emptied Himself, and by the blood of His cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore, He has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey Him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with all the angels and the angels and thrones and the dominions, and all the hosts and the powers of heaven who sing the hymn of your glory as without end, we acclaim. We holy, holy, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the heart. Yes, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the heart. You are indeed, O Leo Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. And profess your resurrection until you come, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Barry our Bishop and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. With the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and him, O God, and Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At a Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, honored as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. We tell his peccatomuni, miserere nobis, on you day. We tell his peccatomuni, miserere nobis, a news day, quit all his peccatum, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Pleasure are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 Amen. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The 
the body of Christ. 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 God bless you always. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. As you go to the seek and the homebound, take not only the sacrament we have celebrated, but also the word of God which we have heard, as well as the affection of the parish community. As for the prayers of those whom you have to visit in return, you now God's peace and blessing. Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by this heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise to Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray the prayer of consecration to the sacred heart of Jesus. Together, I give myself to the sacred heart of our Lord Jesus Christ, and I consecrate to him my person and my life, my actions, pains, and sufferings, so that henceforth I shall be unwilling to make use of any part of my being, except for the honor, love, and glory of the sacred heart. My unchanging purpose is to be all his, and to do all things for the love of him, while renouncing with all of my salvation, the remedy of my weakness and inconstancy, the atonement for all my faults, and the sure refuge of my death. O heart of love, I place all my trust in you, for I fear everything from my own wickedness and frailty, but I hope for all things from your goodness and bounty. 
Consume in me all that can displease you or resist your holy will. Let your pure love imprint you so deeply upon my heart that I shall never more be able to forget you or be separate from you. May I obtain from all your loving kindness the grace of having my name written in you. For I desire to place in you all my happiness and all my glory, living and dying in virtual bondage to you. The Lord be with you. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Holy Mass has been offered. Let us now go in the peace and love of Christ. <laughs>